Okay, today I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending with my Distress Oxide colors. Distress Oxides blend so nicely together. I'm using Picked Raspberry, See This Preserve, and Peacock Feathers. These are some of my favorite colors, and I'm going to be using them on a unicorn um, card, so I think these are a really great color scheme. So let's start with uh, the Picked Raspberry. This is a new blending dome blending brush, so I'm going to ink it up pretty good. Okay, I'm going to start with the top sort of third. A nice button, you can make it as dark or as light as you want. Okay. Let's do the Seedless Preserves next. Now I'm gonna start underneath and then blend up into the pink. And when you're blending, generally go around in circles like this so you don't get any marks any like uh, lines on your um, colors. Now with Distress Oxides, sometimes you'll have to go back over to get the blend that you're looking for. Because right now you see there's really a stark line between the purple and the pink. But I wanna go back over and kind of soften that line a little bit. So it's a nice kind of more gradient blend okay now i have blended a light color onto a dark color so i'm going to kind of wipe it off a little bit before i put it back onto my light color just so i don't you know contaminate so to speak that um that ink pad and now i'm going to do the peacock feathers And start at the bottom. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna flip it around, and I don't want to stick my fingers in where it's inked up already. So I'm gonna use a scrap piece of paper just to, as a place to put my fingers, so I don't get it all over my fingers. This is such a great unicorn color scheme, don't you think? Now you'll notice that when you blend. Two different colors together the part where they mix you get another color do you so i'm getting sort of a purple between that picked raspberry and the peacock feathers i love that okay happy with that blend i am again i'm gonna go off the edge to get that uh, purple off. But see now I feel like I need a little bit more of the um, see this preserves to show up. So I'm going to go back over this a little bit just to get the blend a little bit better. And I might need to go back over the pink. One more time. Okay, I think one more time is going to do it. Let's get a little bit more of the pink. This is really just a matter of playing around, blending over top of each other. That's what's great about the Distress Oxides is that you can blend over it until you get that nice ombre sort of look that you're going for. And then the last one, I'm gonna soften up this line here. And then I should be good to go. There. There we go. Perfect unicorn blend.